Let's get Eurified. Just like Nintendo and copyright strikes, these two things are never far apart from each other for long. Similar is the case of Starcross lovers Mia Rene Rembrandt and Saletta Mercury. After being separated for four agonizing episodes, the Forever Bound fiancés finally reunite, but the curse of the Gundam continues to loom over their heads, a thundercloud of galactic proportion. And it's up to our dynamic duo to triumph over these insurmountable odds with their love and courage, to wipe clean the bloodstained hands of their previous generation and knock some good old-fashioned top-of-the-line Easy peasy lemon squeezy can of common sense on these no good violent adults. Anyway, where am I going with this? Well, nowhere really. So let's talk about the latest episode of Gundam Witch and where our adorable power couple currently stand in this wild and crazy game called Love. Alright, so after being held at Plant Quetta for over two weeks, Mirina is finally allowed to return to school. Which, by the way, I've been kind of scratching my noggin at this, but why exactly were Mirina, Saletta's mom, and this lady seemingly the only people to be detained and questioned this whole time? Why not Saletta and the Earthican kid? Too. I mean, they were in the thick of things as much as anyone else. Or an even better question, why did it take two weeks at all just to question some people who actually had no involvement in the whole terrorist incident? Was it just a blue ball us? Ah, whatever. So after some punk-ass space kids decided to start some beef with our sweet-ass Earth kids, the arena moonwalked into the scene, and after laying down the law of the land, told them to go beat it. So now that their exalted company president is back home, everything is hunky-dory and business can resume like usual again, right? Well, not quite. Poor old Nika is still missing, and everyone is suspended from school for the next couple of days. Apparently. Anyway, the most important thing is that it probably took every fiber in Mirene and Salada's body to not instantly embrace and snog each other right then and there after being reunited. Don't want to break that company PDA policy. So after a surprise visit from the Wicked Witch of Mercury, Mirene and Saleta get some much needed alone time at their love nest. And this is where they finally get to talk about one of the biggest memes to ever grace this series. Now at this point, I would like to briefly respond to one of the more idiotic takes to the whole Saleta killing a dude situation, which is basically people saying that Miarine's reaction to Saleta after killing someone was unjustified, even though she saved her and her father's life. Thus, she should have reacted more gratefully. In fact, here are some online quotes. Why is Miarin so mad at Saleta for saving her and her dad's life? I don't get it. Are you serious? She just saved you. Bitch. Irene must have been really dumb because she forgot that she was about to be shot. That guy was about to kill the shit out of you. If it was me, I would hug her and be happy about it. Fakik Mirine for being upset at Saleta for protecting her. What a whiny princess. What is Mirine's problem? She should be thanking Saleta and showing so much gratitude, RN. In fact, she should just take her clothes off and have sex with her on top of that dead body. So in case you're a bit slow on morality lessons, let me lay it down for you nice and easy. The arena reacted the way she did after seeing Saleta very brutally squash a guy right in front of her, and more importantly, after doing so, act as if she just spilled a little bit of coffee on the floor. Gee willikers, I'm such a klutz. Seeing the normally timid and skittish Saleta so casually walk off a kill like that while maintaining a happy-go-lucky expression is undoubtedly out of character for her, and Mirina realizes this and was absolutely shocked to the core, and Saleta showing an extreme lack of remorse while being covered head to toe in blood is basically akin to the behavior of a psychotic murderer, which is why Mirine felt the need to call Saleta a murderer. Obviously, on a technical level, Saleta isn't a murderer. She just killed to defend someone's life. But it's very clear that Mirine was just pointing out how inhumane Saleta's response was after doing something that normally would garner a much more emotional response from a normal individual. Hypothetically, let's say Saleta did the exact same thing. Except after killing the guy, she becomes distressed and breaks down after realizing what she just did. She says to Mirine that she had no choice but to kill him because he was about to shoot you and your father. So she had to act quickly, and she says all this while in tears. Mirine would absolutely have a different reaction to this. She would still be in shock by what just happened, but she would comfort Saleta and tell her that it wasn't her fault, and the emotions would be running rampant. It's not about Mirine being ungrateful. She was just disturbed by Saleta's reaction to all this. You get it? So after a quick back and forth between the two about that whole nasty situation, Mirine realizes that her lovely groom was too much under the control of Chancellor Prospera. Not even her desperate pleas were enough to bring Saleta back from the dark side. So, like the caring bride that she is, Mirene goes to confront that dastardly Sith Lord and tells her to leave her daughter out of her sick and twisted games. However, the Dark Lord lays out some heavy truths on our heroine and even entices her to join her cause. Cliffhanger! So at this point, we can definitely expect Mirene to do whatever it takes to free Saleta from her mama's Bioshock conditioning, even running to be president of space it seems. Like I said in my previous video, 
deal. I expect the rest of the season will cover Saleta eventually gaining her independence. In fact, I'm gonna make a bold and specific prediction. Saleta will become more and more weary of her mother's intentions as time goes on. And the straw that breaks the camel's back will be when she orders Saleta to kill Miarine in an act of vengeance. But with every ounce of love that she has, she outright refuses. And with her bride by her side, they desperately fight to bring Prospera and every evildoer to justice. And after everything is settled, Miarine and Saleta finally get married and ride off into the sunset. Then they'll make a 40 minute OVA covering their honeymoon on Earth and their discovery of love hotels. Well, that's really all I got for you today. So share your thoughts and critiques down below. Only time will tell how our gay Gundam girls will get out of this predicament. So yeah, see you around.